is uh, now. Having said that, let's move to our next board where I will be talking about leaf and spine topology. What is the meaning? So guys, I have been talking about in the old legacy and this, these are my access switches, these are my distribution switches and the link between them was layer two. Now we are having this layer three, right? These two switches on top of whatever we have are actually doing one important function. And that important function is taking an IP packet from the below switches, from these switches, right? And forward them as quickly as possible on the basis of destination IP address. These are doing the role of routers. You all know about it, right? Just try to understand one more interesting thing about this topology, which we are doing here. Two switches on top, three on bottom. Suppose leave one, which is having the IP address of 1.1.1.1, wants to communicate to leave three, which is 3.3.3.3. .3 Just try to understand. It needs to send the packet towards the spine one and then towards 3.3.3.3, right? Any traffic flow which is going east to west, there is only one hop which is in the middle and that is going to be your spine. Suppose this is leaf one wants to, con uh, or maybe uh, basically this switch. If leaf one wants to communicate to leaf two, what is going to happen guys? Again, traffic will be going from, uh, from this switch to here and from this switch to here. The middle hop is always one. Believe me, right? But what is the significance if I have only one hop? This result into deterministic patterns. What is the meaning of deterministic pattern? The, uh, the meaning is that we know if there are hundreds switches here, if any switch wants to communicate to any switch, there is going to be only one hop. It means that we can effectively calculate the time from moving from here to here because there is only one guy in the middle. It can take the message, do some processing and forward it. As simple as that, right? But here is my problem with the spanning tree network. In the spanning tree network, if I have the root bridge here and if I have one switch here, another switch here, one switch here, another switch here, and if this host wants to communicate to this host, maybe host one, host two, the traffic will go from here to this root switch and then coming back to like this. It doesn't matter if these hosts are directly connected. These are going to be blocked absolutely by spanning tree. And we, we cannot have the, the traffic path which can be deterministic or maybe which is one hop away, right? Why this is so important? This is so important because you all know now the traffic between the servers is also there, which we call as east-west traffic. There is some server's requirement that this traffic should reach to another server in maybe three millisecond or maybe one millisecond. If that is the case, if we have such kind of topology where we know that there is only one hop in the middle, we are absolutely sure that there couldn't be any problem, right? Because my traffic will no go from will not go from one switch to another switch towards the root and then come back because everything is layer three and I have only one hop in middle. Very, very interesting, right? So just try to understand what this upper block is doing. This block, this is just taking the messages packets and forwarding them as quickly as possible, right? This is actually looking like to me, like this leaf. Just try to figure, just try to think this middle line, right? This middle line is kind of a spine for this, right? Where every other vein is connected this one, right? So this is spine is actually the name, I think coming from there, from this leaf structure, because this is doing the heavy lifting. This is taking the message, forwarding them as soon as possible, right? And these veins are actually these leaf, right? So leaf and spine, their connectivity is, is looking like this. It is looking like a leaf, right? Or if you go just inside the leaf and check, you will find this topology there. 
So from now on, we will be calling the spines and leaf. The spine are just nothing. If you see the spine, they are just IP packet forward. They do not have any relation with VXLAN. Why? Because to them, whatever the packet they are getting, they are just getting the pure IP packet, right? On the basis of destination IP, they are going to forward it. But the intelligent work of sending this message from here to here is done by this leaf because this leaf is encapsulating, this leaf is taking the layer two header or layer two packet, encapsulating it inside the IP packet and sending it toward the spine for a spine. Everything is just IP. As simple as that, right? Now let's move towards next board where we are going to talk about